Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, adults of all ages. Today is Thursday, November 17th, 2022. Uh, today, we're going to be clearing some room here to work on a project. Um, so I've had the Samsung, Samson SR850s um, for a while now. Uh, I think they're a great headphone. You'll see lots of reviews on them. Um, they look a little dusty. It's got some fluff on them. But um, I've got them paired with this just beautiful looking, let me zoom out so you can fully appreciate them, um, adornment, you know, like ponytail going on here. And I've got the um, the Fio um, Butter 3, BTR, whatever, 3. It's the smaller of the, uh, the, the, the puck module things. Um, and it's also cheaper. And um, it does a great job. I, I say my only complaint is the fact that when you're wireless, the volume is just not that great, at least not with this particular um, set of headphones. So now I've got these all, all the reflective bits, not so great. Um, but what it does have, see this little guy here? This is a 2.5 millimeter connector and um, it's balanced and it promises to have a much higher wattage uh, output than the regular 3.5. 3.5 millimeters out of this one, uh, it's good for 25 milliwatts. The balance connector is good for 78 milliwatts. Now, balance connector, basically all that means is, uh, here, let me, let me draw this for you. Okay, so regular, just out of the box, what it does is it's got a speaker here and a speaker here, and each of them has a voice coil, so you got two wires. And that's what thumps the music into your head. Um, and the way this works is the wires come around over here. And then you've only got three wires. You got... Uh, let me zoom this thing again. You got the tip. You got the ring. And then you have the sleeve. And I got I to gotta draw you this connector and label, label the things. Where did my wire go? So if we pretend that we've, we're drawing a wire here, bloop, that's going to be the left-hand side. And then the next area, the ring, that's going to be the right-hand side. And then the sleeve, that's going to be the ground. And so the way that we're going to wire up these headphones, so if this is the, the right-hand, well, let me, let me zoom out again. So this is the right-hand voice coil. And this is the left-hand speaker thing. So we're going to wire up both of these. Let's just pretend the bottom ones are the ground ones. So the ground goes up and around. It's going to hop over, and it's going to connect up to here, and they're both going to get connected to the ground. And then the left channel goes to the left speaker. Whoop! And then the right channel goes up, hops over. A little ugly there. But this one goes to the right speaker and it comes back through the ground. This one goes to the left speaker and then comes back to the ground. So that's how a regular headphone works. If we look at how a set of earbuds work, we've got the two left and the rights. We also got this microphone thing here. And we'll notice there are four conductors on this little guy. Oh, zoom into zoom, zoom. And so we call this a TRRS. And what they've done is they've just slipped another ring in there that lets you use more things. Um, so what's different here is that it's the same left, right, except instead of ground, they use this for the microphone and then the ground. And that's when, what, how these work. And you know, obviously it's more than the ground because on these, you got the, your mute and volume and all those other magical things they can do digitally. Um, but it's all done through, I guess, the microphone stuff. Anyway. That is not how balanced works. When you're trying to take a balanced connector, this is not a balanced connector. Um, and there, it's not a balanced signal either. Um, what I've got, however, is a 2.5 millimeter jack so that we can use the dip balanced port on here. Because I can't just get an adapter and stick it in there. That, that would uh, not accomplish what a balanced port does. So what's different between a set of headphones 
with a TRRS on a 2.5 millimeter scale than a regular headphone. I can't really explain all the details, but there's some magic with differential signaling. I'll leave it to you to Google the rest of it. Here, here's just a, like a quick little visual. I think this website makes it the clearest. Headphones.com slash pages balanced headphones guide. So regular headphones, you got three wires and you got a common ground. Great, that all makes sense. Balanced headphones, you got a left and a right pair that goes all the way through and it's a differential signal. And so what we're gonna accomplish is we're gonna have a balanced headphone where your signal source comes in and this is per one channel on the headphone. Your audio signal comes in, goes through the input buffer and the output transformer and everything. And so you essentially have a signal on one side that is one, one side of the wave and then another with the exact opposite side of the wave. And there's some important reasons for that, for like signal integrity through the chain uh, in interference and whatnot. But essentially it means you're getting a balanced signal at the end into your ear holes. And here's the reason why balanced is important. Because the voltage developed on the transmission line from RF interference, so if there's noise from somewhere, is identical on both normal and inverted signal conductors, meaning you got two wires next to each other and they get some noise, the noise is gonna be the same in both wires. And because the balancing transformers only allow current flow when the singles, signals are opposing, that means you're only going to get signal current flow when the wave is down and the wave is up on here. If there's a, a signal that has a wave up and a wave up, then nothing's going to happen. If you've got a signal that's got a wave down and a wave down, then nothing's going to happen. It only makes noise over here or lets it go through when there's a one that's down and then a corresponding exact other side when there is one that's up. So it comes through. you got to have two opposing signals in order for it to work. And so the common interference signal is canceled out. That's what that's what that means. So that's why you use balanced uh, things. I mean, I hope that's clear. Um, I, also, while I was over on the confuser, I noticed um, I got something wrong. So I'll just fix it now. Um, on these little these little headphone jacks, um, not the 2.5, but the, the 3.5, the the one that comes with your Apple Dirty Pods, um, or at least they used to before they started putting stupid connectors on them. Um, this guy is an Apple one, and so it loosely follows a standard called CTIA, and that means that it's going to go left, right, ground, and microphone. And it's uh, theoretically microphone because Apple does proprietary things with their stuff, and it could also do video on this standard instead of microphone. Um, whereas the other competing standard is OMTP, it's a little bit less familiar. The CTIA one is the one that you're going to find on most things. And that'll sometimes be on your Xbox controller and maybe some old Nokias. Um, and that's where the microphone is in that middle ring and the ground is on the bottom ring. Um, they do make adapters that do the things with the stuff to go bloop, bloop between the two. Um, I'll also bring this in. You'll also find old AV cords that where it's a 3.5 millimeter or a 2.5 millimeter jack and it's left video ground and right. Um, and it'll, it'll have a breakout for RCA connectors. Uh, I thought for sure I would have one, but I just can't find it, which is not really a surprise because I can't find anything. Everyone's got a box like this, right? All right, so anyway, let's get on with the, the hacking and thwacking. So what our plan is right here is we're gonna sharp off the end and then we're gonna, we're gonna rewire this so that, where'd my pen go? We rewire this. So we got our two voice coils and we've got one, two, three, four. We got the, the tip, the ring, the ring, and the shield. And so we're gonna do uh, left, left, right, right. So that'll be a plus, a minus, a plus, a minus. I should probably, 
probably double check to see if I should be putting the left on the end, like the left up there and the right on the bottom. I suppose when you're looking at a pair of headphones, it's probably um, depends on the model, but this one doesn't have, from what I can tell, oh, I guess it does have an R, but the way that they feel on your head, if you put them on backwards, you can't really tell the difference. Um, and there's not, I certainly can't tell a difference if I've put them on backwards by just the way that they feel on my ear holes. Um, I'll, I'll just Google that real quick to make sure that left and then right is the, the correct. And then um, what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to snip this cord about, <laughs> about, about right here. And I'm going to get rid of that whole huge... Um, giant adapter that's up top and just uh or um all the mess and just plug it right into the uh the bluetooth adapter but jaron what happens if there's only three wires in there you can't just cut it off it's okay i got a spare cord that's got four conductors in it i got this old usb cord we'll just chop it and snack it in there see no problem all right um so to get these guys apart all you have to do is just pry off this little um, plastic cover here. It's just held on by these little, little itty bitty dingly bits. Um, and then you can go in with a regular screwdriver and I lost my screwdriver already. Put it in a safe place before. Where did it go? Where did it go? I should probably clean my desk. I googled and I could not find um, a clear answer. It looks like some headphones are left and some headphones are right. Specifically, the Sony's match my left right, um, even though I found something. I think we're just going to have to plug it in, try it, and if it's wrong, we either flip our headphones around on our heads or we uh, desolder and resolder. So, anyway, let's just. Uh... Oh, I was looking for my screwdriver. There it is. Whoop. 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 Uh, keep that secure. Okay, so this has just got a little, little plastic um, thing. And then inside here, what do we got? We got three wires. Okay, so we are gonna need to replace that. It's got this little rubber grommety thing. Oh, interesting. Oh, so that's the connect orb between the two. Red, black, and white. And based on the fact that white is connected to red, I'm going to assume that that is, uh, yes. So this is the two wires that go up to the, um, the other side. And we're on the left-hand side, so that means that those two wires that go up this way are for the right-hand side, and that the two wires that kind of just dip right into that little hole are for the left-hand side. So this is where we're going to do our, our wiring and whatnot. There we go. And we're just going to strip off a little bit right there so that we can make a connector. itty bitty wires not much to them let's uh keep going here so i've got the um the usb device that no longer functions and so i'm just gonna go yoink i'm gonna steal that and i'm kind of wondering i think i'm gonna try using their strain relief you know like it can't hurt to give it a little a little try i think it's gonna i think it's gonna be all right you know uh let's see i think i like the fit the fit of the second bit a little bit better but it doesn't quite it doesn't quite cut the mustard so we're gonna go with this one it, it it's adequate you know what we can do we can uh, we can build it up with a little bit of shrinky dink tubage take up some of that excess get it nice and hot and then just press it on. There we go. Oh yes, that's warm. That's very warm. And that'll hold just dandy. That's still hot. Um, all right, and then we just need to measure an approximate length for how far the 
the, the thing has to go. So typically if this is on my left ear, the headphone parts come around the back side. So I'm just gonna go like Zo. And it'll be like about there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna snip the wire. I'm gonna snip it a little bit longer in case I need to tweak it lengthwise. Because we are putting it into a receptacle. Let's show you what this little guy looks like. Oh dear. Oh, this is very there we go. You can kind of see the whole thing. Let me, let me actually zoom out a little bit more and back in. Um, and these match up tip to tip, ring to ring. Um, and uh, whatever this one is supposed to be. And then the, the actual ground is this outer, outer one. So this one's at least assuming that the ground is the outside. Um, so we'll just make up our wire and then uh, go to town. I'm going to solder this, and then we'll come back. Okay, it's wicked tiny. However, uh, this is how it's going to work. We've got the left positive and the left negative. So the left positive is going to be the little white wire in there, and the black wire is going to be the, the second one in line. And then the red is the right positive, and then we use the red wire, and the black um, shield on the outside, on the other side here, is going to be the um, red negative. So let's just uh, solder that up. And there we go. We have a nice, nice little view of what's going on right here. feels so messy. And so itty bitty. You can't keep the dwell time very long, otherwise you're going to end up melterating it all. I think that's too high for it to close. And that still may be too high, but we'll find out. And we're just going to clip off that uh, little tail there that down there and that's all she wrote I think I'll just gonna put a little dab of Suldair onto the back side of this just to uh, just to give it something to connect with instead of this you know lack of connection okay that's about the best we can do on such shoddy construction all right um, I guess uh, at this point we just solder it in and hope for the best. I might. Well, I'm a British all of a sudden. Oh, fudge. Did the, the thing slide off? Uh, dang it. You realize I have to resolder that. I won't make you watch it, though. There we go. And this time it has the connector on it. The shield. All right. Let's do the other side. Just a reminder, we're looking at the left side, so we want to wire up to this speaker. So that means we need to use this wire first. So we're going to use the tip and the second one, which, if you recall, is the white cable and uh, the black cable is the next one. So we use white and black for this connection. And actually, when thinking about this, um, I might just actually put the hink shrink on after the fact because it appears that there's not enough room for an inline. We're just going to spin it together and then hit it with a dab of solder. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That is good. And then we put on the... Uh, is that going to fit now? And it fits great. Give it a little bit, though. 
It doesn't fit so great, but I hope it'll work. Just work for me. Work it. That's a focal art. And then we hit it with some flame to seal it up. I'm just gonna solder up these these little doodangs. And just smoosh that on there. No mechanical strain at all. Smooshed. And this big fat boy, because we're using the big fat ground instead of that dinky green wire. All these USB cables wires are extremely thin. I may have to replace this wire. But for now, it's adequate. Smoosh. Okay, it's adequate. Uh, it's not great. Don't ever think that I think this is great, but it's, it is functional for the purpose. We just stuff these underneath here. Okay. And then we'll just put it back together. And hope that it still fits. Seems to. Let's find the screw. There it is. Hopefully everything still fits back together. Yeah, it mostly fits in there. It's not going to go under a lot of strain. And then the factory connectors. Oh, look at that. Now we can take off this big, huge bony tail of wires. We can repurpose this for some other, some other wire thing. You know, we could make up a, a nice, a nice extension if we ever wanted to plug something in there. Isn't that so much cleaner? Oh, that's great. All right, um, let's give the SR 850s with Bluetooth a try. Okay, now we're gonna do an official audio test um, and we're gonna do it with uh, this calibrated microphone. I've just got the microphone, which is right there. This isn't a super scientific one, but it's as close as we're gonna get for an equal comparison. Uh, this is the balanced speaker, and of course, this is left, even though this uh, is on the right-hand side. So if I play this back... There you go. Right, left and we're getting... Right channel, right channel, right with left and right... Around 70, I'd say. And now, of course, you're going to ask, how am I supposed to convert this back into regular headphones? And the answer is, I'm not. I have a second pair that I haven't touched anything yet. And you can see they're still still almost new. Um, so we'll just plug those in in place of these. And I'll just plug them into the regular headphone jack. We haven't touched the volumes or anything. All we did is change the port that we're using. And I'll observe the same... Um, except I, I will flip the left and the right just because I know that the left and the right is swapped. And we'll hit play again. So you can see um, the volume is just not the same. Let's go ahead and just quickly swap these back for the other ones plugged into the the thing there and hit play again left channel left channel right channel right channel right channel left channel left channel left channel right channel right channel right channel left channel left channel left channel right channel right channel and there we go. So now I've got um, I've got this nice and clean headphone set up, and it's a lot louder, and it's balanced, and it's Bluetooth, and it's great. And you can do the same thing. I bought them off Amazon. I think the headphones were like thirty-five bucks. Although these particular ones I paid more for like a year and a half ago when things were all expensive everywhere. Not that it's any cheaper. Um, this guy, uh, I want to say I paid 120 or so. Um, and they have the, um, the BTR5 now. 
which I uh, has a little bit better battery life, I believe. It's a little bit larger of a device as well. Uh, but this this works great. This works phenomenal. No volume issues with the 3.5 millimeter when you're plugged into a computer, however. That's the one thing. These are great as a uh, set of desktop speakers plugged in by USB because it's got this built-in DAC inside. Um, and so um, it sounds amazing connected to a computer. Don't get me wrong. You don't have to do this modification at all. This set of headphones and this adapter on a computer, phenomenal, wonderful, amazing. Um, but um, for wireless, uh, the volume is just pretty low on this one without without doing this modification. Um, it's not it's not impossible to read. It's just or to, to, to hear. It's just uh, you know you're always wishing that you could go a little bit higher. That's all. And with this mod, I, it's obvious that it gives me a little bit more chooch for the chach because it's got that 78 milliwatts instead of being limited to 25. Okay, I'm done rambling. Uh, Subscribe. I should clean my desk, huh? Put the tools away. You know, my pen. Get these out of there. Get this out of there. Get the lighter. These batteries are just probably dead. So let's throw them away. Uh, 3D printer things. Mm -hmm.